Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is September the 8th of 2018. I've got an update on this story from the third of animals attacked. Unknown creature attacks and kills pit bull, husky, and three horses. This is very, very unusual incident here, folks. And initially, the reports we were getting was that it was believed that a large cat killed these animals. And by a large cat, I mean bigger than a bobcat, I mean like a mountain lion, okay? But according to all of the so sources, local sources, there haven't been any mountain lions in this area verified for at least 50 years, if not longer. And by verification, we mean actual discovery of a dead one or photographs of one, trail camera photographs, there, there is none. There is evidence, sightings, and trail camera photographs of bobcats, but not mountain lions. Now, the unusual thing about this story right here is, by all outward appearances, it would appear extremely unlikely that even a large cat would kill three horses and two dogs, namely a pit bull and a husky. Pit bulls are strong, defensive, uh, good fighters. Now, if this mountain lion was out hunting for food, you would think it would just kill and take one one of the horses and eat it but here on this property in the morning was discovered three dead horses and the pit bull was dead and also a husky was dead now there's been a startling uh revelation and accusation in this case right here folks folks without a doubt there is a killer on the loose, whether it be an animal or a human. Death of three miniature horses in Kentucky remains a mystery. The state says they were shot, but the sheriff disagrees. This is where it gets crazy, folks. State fish and wildlife officials that came and examined these dead animals are saying the animals were shot. This is Monroe County, Kentucky. Three miniature, miniature horses were found slaughtered in Monroe County last weekend. The sheriff has warned people of a vicious large cat that could be in the area, but state officials say otherwise. Monroe County Sheriff Dale Ford says there is no doubt what killed the horses and one dog. See, the original reports was that two dogs were killed. Now they're just saying one dog. Whatever it is, it's a large, vicious animal. It's got to be, Ford said. Ford, along with deputies and a biologist, went to the home just outside of Tompkinsville and inspected each of the dead horses. We agree there were four-inch bite marks and claw marks. They have been mauled, Ford said. He later issued a warning on the department's Facebook page. However, experts with Kentucky Fish and Wildlife also examined the horses. They left and then later contacted the sheriff with a conclusion that stunned him. According to Ford, he was sent a message from the state asking him to update his post to reflect that the animals had been shot, not mauled by another animal. Okay, this is the original Facebook post from Monroe County Sheriff's Office, where you can clearly see here 
Upon arrival, they found three horses, a pit bull, and a husky dead. Now the story is, is three horses and a pit bull. No more mention of a dead husky after this mention right here. State experts found, among other things, a single hole they said could not be done by an animal's tooth. They say the cuts were caused by a cutting instrument and that no sign of a struggle. The verdict, not a wild animal attack. Folks, this whole story makes absolutely no sense. These conclusions that both the sheriff and the fish and wildlife people are coming up with, it's very unusual considering that no cats of that large mountain lion have been seen in this area in at least 50 years. Now the place this happened, these people are well known in the community, upstanding citizens, never had any kind of trouble or incidents going on like this. Fish and Wildlife is saying that the animals were shot and a cutting instrument was used. And that leads to this, why would someone do that? And who, if that is the case? Very, very unusual circumstances revolving around the three dead horses and either, depending upon which version you look at, either two dead dogs or one dead dog. But the sheriff and the fish and wildlife definitely are butting heads on this. The Fish and Wildlife uh, sent that sheriff a personal message basically telling him that he's going to cause a public panic and to take it off of his Facebook post about a, a, a vicious animal unknown lurking out there just waiting, you know, to kill again perhaps. Now, it stands to reason that, you know, if there was a mountain lion, that it would kill and take one horse and eat it. But these animals were clearly dead. Uh, three horses and perhaps two dogs. But I've got a theory on this right here, folks. This pit bull, but this is just my theory and my opinion. I think perhaps... That the pit bull went crazy. Either they had it loose or it got loose. Killed the horses. And then someone discovered the pit bull had killed the horses. So they took care of the pit bull. When you read the original initial reports, there was no visible signs of uh, what caused the pit bull to die. No visible injuries to the pit bull, folks. But that's just my theory. Folks, let me know what you think in the comments below about what happened to the three horses and the dogs. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.